This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you with a fantastic and interesting article I found from ZeroHedge.com. And it's about Blackstone. And we already know that we know that most surrenders are controlled by mom and pop institutions, you know, mom and pop, not really institutions. But when Blackstone is continuing to make its its way, it's now they looks like they're cornering now going after student dorms. Um, the article came through with ZeroHedge.com. I haven't been there in a little bit. A little bit but the article is definitely worth your attention i'm going to put a link inside the description and dive right in after cornering rentals blackstone is now going after student dorms promotion of the past decade private equity giant blackstone which at last check had 684 million in aums was the single largest institutional landlord in the u.s according to some the largest owner of the real estate in the world <laughs> wow um, you can click on those links at your leisure then a few years ago, Blackstone lost that designation when it comes to residential housing, remains the largest commercial landlord by a wide margin. However, however, the recent explosion in home prices and rents have prompted the Wall Street firm to double down its efforts to recover the title of an undisputed landlord champion. And in June, the firm announced its latest transaction funded by ultra-cheap debt courtesy of the Fed when it purchased Home Partners of America, which owns more than 17,000 houses throughout the U.S. for $6 billion. Yes, despite a growing part by part Bipartisan political backlash against institutional landlords translating to popular blowback at a time when rents are soaring at the fastest pace on record. Blackstone continues to exhibit at all the PR grace of a bull in a china shop. <laughs> well, they may have a typo. Continues to exhibit all the PR grace to a bull in a china shop. It extends its market share grab in U.S. real estate with firm now pivoting to dorms as it slowly but surely hopes to become the marginal price setter in all U.S. real estate. According to Bloomberg, Blackstone has brought in its bet on U.S. student housing, forming a $784 million joint venture with landmark properties with the intention of recapitalizing a portfolio of buildings with 5,416 beds. Landmark, landmark based in Athens, Georgia, operates more than 75 student housing properties with nearly 51,000 beds. The firm has $7.7 .7 billion in assets under management. Blackstone deals with landmark flows follows a 1.2 billion acquisition of a 10,500 bed portfolio of U.S. student housing with Grayster Real Estate Partners in 2018 and a 6 billion deal in 2020 to buy a 28,000 bed portfolio in the United Kingdom from Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated. Blackstone's rationale to go out the dorms is clear. It's betting on college housing as the students flock back to campus after more than a year of COVID-19 restrictions. They're seeing a relative bargain in a typical private off-campus complexes compared with the cost of apartments and other residential assets, which have soared in value since the pandemic. It's not just Blackstone. Other institutional investors are also pouring in. Canadian Financial Conglomerate, Brookfield, Asset Managers forming a joint venture with Sky and Group LLC to acquire at least $1 billion in student housing properties, the company's first U.S. bet on the sector. Private equity firm TPG started investing in student housing in November in a partnership with Cardinal Group Investments. The private equity giant is making investment through Blackstone Real Estate Income Trust, a non-traded REIT that people said since inception in 2007, B-R-E-I-T, has average annual total returns of 11.64%. What happens next? As amazing housing sector is increasingly owned by a handful of financial conglomerates, this is well put here, even more Amazonification, Amazonification, and as the smaller players are gobbled up the handful of marginal price setters will hike up rents to whatever price clearly level they desire. Meanwhile, the courtesy of Fed's destructive policy, Blackstone will have no difficult finding access to as much debt as it needs to expand its market share, becoming the biggest single landlord in world history. Finally, since mo most politicians are receiving financial incentives one way or another to ignore what is happening, this strategy will not change until society finally hits a tipping point. The article has real good punches there definitely worth your time it's not too far to look into i would click on those links here especially 684 billion in assets under manager i'll click on that on the on real estate in the world they got some good links here i'm not doing it now but I definitely encourage you to do it at your leisure i'm going to put a link inside the description as always if this video has been any value to you please subscribe leave some comments hit the like button and to my next video for information age financial solutions i'm out